I want you to imagine that last night I had a vision given to me by God. And in my vision, I saw an asteroid that was about 400 meters in width, and it was headed straight for planet Earth. Make no mistake, not only is this thing going to crash into planet Earth, but it's going to crash into one of the major cities, well, here in Canada. Here's what NASA says would happen if a 400 meter asteroid crashed into planet Earth. This asteroid would carry with it the energy of about 330 megatons of TNT. That's roughly the equivalent to 60% of the world's remaining nuclear weapons being detonated at the same time, in the same place. The crater would be about, oh, three times the width of the city of Toronto, and it would be about 446 meters deep. If you were standing within 30 kilometers from the impact site, the effects would be much more serious. The average fragment headed your way would be about the size of, well, a small car. And within 90 seconds, wind speeds would top 800 kilometers an hour. Over 90% of the trees, buildings, and bridges, and pretty much anything really, would be blown away. In other words, God has shown me that the GTA is going to be destroyed and some 6.4 million people could lose their lives. Let me ask you, do you think I have a moral obligation to tell people what I know? Of course I would. Imagine 6.4 million people could die if I didn't share, well, what I know. Here's where I'm going with this. As a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, you know stuff. And what you know could save not just millions of lives, but billions. So what do you know? Well, what you know is that the world as we know it is coming to an end. You see, there's another rock coming. Daniel tells us that no human hand made this rock or cut it out. This rock, it's Jesus. And when he gets to planet Earth, make no mistake, it will be the end of the world as we know it. Mountains will collapse. The atmosphere will burn. Islands are going to sink into the sea. And, and when it's all over, nothing will be left alive on this planet. You see what I, need? I mean? You know some critically important stuff. So let me ask, do we, as Seventh-day Adventists, have a moral obligation to share what we know? Or do we get to hide behind church walls talking about our mission, preaching sermons about our mission, and writing books about our mission, but we never actually get out and live the mission? Oh, the mission? Well, it's the same now as it's always been. Go into the world and make disciples. Because you see, you know something else that is critically important. And what you know is that Jesus saves you know that everyone is born spiritually dead, separated from God, and that everyone is headed for the grave. But you know something more. You know that there's a way out of the grave. His name is Jesus Christ, and not only can he forgive and remove your sin, but if you believe in him, you have a way out of the grave. You see what I mean? You know stuff that can literally save lives. The question is, how much would we have to hate somebody not to tell them? And this call and this challenge uh, for this quarter's lesson is will you share what you know? Now be warned, this quarter is not for people who want to sit back and hide from their mission. This lesson study is not for people who want to do nothing more than talk. This is a lesson study for those who are prepared to stop talking and start living out the Great Commission. It is for people who are prepared to make the shift from being a church member to a minister. It is for those who are fully devoted followers of Jesus Christ who understand that they are called not only to be a disciple, but they are called to make one. And as God's commandment keeping people, are we willing to walk in obedience and do as our Savior commands? Go, and as you go, share the gospel. We're looking forward to sharing this quarter's lesson with you. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you this week.